everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are of course working on Primrose, my grandma core cottage core island. And I want to head back down towards the front of the island. We're going to be working on the area next to my museum and my fish and chip shop. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It was such a fun and cute build to build the fish and chip shop especially because we also did a little bit of beach work. So some beach inspo there too. We're going to be working on the area next to those two builds and it should be fun because I'm going to build an ice cream shop. And we're also going to do a little bit more beach building. So yeah, it should be a fun build. But before we get started, I'd love it if you could like, comment and subscribe. Come join the Jelly Bean family. Now let's get stuck into today's video. So I decided to start my intro outside of the house area that I was building, you know, the little neighborhood and head over this little bridge and down towards the museum. As you can see, the museum is just there on my right and I want to put the little ice cream shop just here. So this build doesn't require too many items. You just need storefronts, simple panels, counter tables and some stalls but we'll go through all the items as I'm using them. So for this little bit I only need to use six storefronts and as you can see I've put them back to back here and two at the side just to create the illusion of a small little store. Now we just want to push these two at the front back a little bit so I can pop into stalls right here. Now the customization on these stalls is an in-game customization so you'll be able to get that one real easy. Now I need to go behind this stall to put a cash register on there and I've decided to choose the antique cash register customize in white just because I feel like it fits with the aesthetic a bit better. Now I did pop a little ice cream on there but I end up changing that in a second but we'll we'll go through that in a sec. So the windows that I'm using in today's build are made by Yancha Girl. I've listed the MA down below and the socials of the person that's made them. I also inspired my build today. This person done something very similar and I'm just kind of adding my own little twist onto it so that's where I've got the inspo from today so definitely go and check out their socials. Now excuse me where I get rid of my field of flowers back here. Never choose beautiful island ordnance. That's all I can say if you don't want your flowers to grow everywhere. <laughs> now back to the build. As you can see I've used four white simple panels, two that are windows and two that are menu boards and then I'm replacing that ice cream on the stool with a portable record player. I just think it looks so much better and it adds some music to this area. Then in front of that I've used a white wooden counter and then next to those either side I've used the wooden partition customized in white. To add a bit more greenery around here I decided to use the round toe prairies. I think they look super pretty either side of the shop. And then now we're just going place some more little decorative bits around. We have the retro ice cream case, we got a menu chalkboard there, got some cute little table and chairs to pop down and we got this lovely vertical banner that I've popped up. On the tables I'm just going to be putting down some ice cream on there to make it look like people ordered an ice cream and they can sit down there and enjoy it by the beach. And then we're going to be working on the area next to the ice cream shop, also on the beach next to the ice cream shop and behind the ice cream shop today. So it's not just this little section that we're working on. Also I'm just going to quickly do behind the museum. I'm not going to put too much behind here. I want to keep it relatively natural. So I'm just going to be using bushes, flowers and trees because you're not really going to go behind here to be honest. So I don't really need to decorate it too much but I don't want to leave it plain. So that's why I'm going to be doing this. You can tell whereabouts we are on the map because there's that little bridge we crossed over at the beginning and also the little neighborhood behind there. We are not far from finishing Primrose and that's so exciting. I can't wait to have a final DA. Still a few more weeks to go I feel. I'm just excited to have it done and see it all finished. Let's actually start working on the beach now though. I've popped down some log stakes I've customised in white and apparently we were carrying around some leaf piles as well so we've placed them around the ice cream area but back to the beach. I'm popping down some wheat fill just because I really like how they look on the beaches. They make it feel really natural and I'm going for a very natural vibe on my beaches. I don't want to over decorate them too much. Adding some of the rock items can also make it feel very natural so that's what I'm doing along here. We've got the tall garden rock and then just the normal garden garden rock and I just really like how they look on the sand and then I thought I'd place a cute little beach towel down this is one of the in-game customizations on top of it and we've decided to give this person a little radio and an ice cream since they are near the ice cream store so they'd probably grab an ice cream and sit on the beach on their towel and then going around just placing these little stone codes on the beach I just think they add a little bit more to the sand make it look a less plain but also make it still feel natural and then as you know from my previous beach build I like to put the flowers that are not grown yet on the beach just because 
I think they make it look a bit more natural. I'm gonna say the word natural again, I don't care, because that's what I'm going for. Also, we'll avoid talking about all the white mums there, because that's why I'm keeping my flowers, so they don't overgrow everywhere on the land, because they have been, and it's been annoying. And now I have so many flowers just on my beaches, I'm gonna have so much fun trying to move them all. Hopefully we use most of them, because see, there's some more, there's some yellow tulips. <laughs> They literally grew out of control and now they're all on the beach, so yeah, they're another day's problem. <laughs> now let's work on this little outcrop area. I want to keep this pretty plain as well, but I am going to add the standard item to this outcrop area and that will be a lighthouse. I think it will look really, really cute behind the beach area I've just built, especially if you can lay on the little beach towel and see a lovely lighthouse in the background. But I'm also going to be using some of the stone fencing and we've got some bushes and flowers and trees. I was fortunate to end up with quite a large area here. It's quite wide, so I can fit lot of stuff on there. Sometimes I end up with a narrow one and I really don't know what to decorate on it and it's just, I don't know, it's just very hard to decide what to do. But this one is large so I'm super excited to put quite a few items down here. So I've decided to put some of the grass code down on the floor just because I don't want it to look too plain on the grass and sometimes there's just not enough room for flowers so definitely pop a code down, it definitely helps. And this time I've gone for a white lighthouse on my island. I think it fits in with the colour scheme I've got going on on Primrose so that's why I chose that colour. Also I I'm using some of these caves and I've turned them round so they look like natural rock formations rather than caves. I'm also going to be adding some of those garden rocks around the area because I want this to look like a really rocky area that's, you know, got the lighthouse on. I don't know why, it's just what I decided to go for and I think it turns out really nice and I'm super happy with it. Of course, I've added some bushes, leaf piles, wheat field item and some flowers around the area to also make it look a little bit more natural and overall I'm super happy with how it's turned out. Right, so now let's get to work on the area behind the ice cream shop. There's that little bridge we crossed over at the beginning of the video and I just want to make a little pathway leading towards the lighthouse section. Also it leads towards the beach area kind of so that's why I wanted to do that. Now the house in the background that you can see is actually Eunice's house. I do need to customise that house to make it look a bit more fitting with the aesthetic. I don't really want it in black. I think it wanted more of like a cream colour. I feel like that would go with the rest of the colours I'm using on my island a bit better. And little Bones was just running around. Did you see him? He's so cute. All my villagers, I absolutely love them by the way. Love, love, love them. Can't wait to decorate their houses. And then we're just going to make this area look as natural as possible. So we're going to be using some trees, we got stone fencing, we got the log fencing here, some flowers, I'm probably going to put some weeds down, and bushes of course, and no doubt probably leaf piles. I will probably in a future video carry on the dirt path between those two trees that I put down towards the houses area. But I haven't worked on that neighbourhood yet, so I want to do the neighbourhood and then join it together so I know what sort of space I've got and how I want it to look. Wee little Molly has joined us and you can see her little head just over the top of the little stone fence. She's another cute adorable villager that I'm obsessed with. I actually built her a cute little cottagecore home in a video so if you're interested in seeing that it will be in the Primrose playlist so go watch it. I only have four more house exteriors left to build and that's Bones, Eunice, Callie and Deirdre so we're nearly done with the houses but now we're doing the little finishing touches on this section and we have finished the build so let's have a little walk around of the area. So that's the finished build everyone. I had so much fun as usual building this area today. The ice cream shop, the beach and the lighthouse. They were so adorable. I think my favourite has to be the lighthouse area though. I just really love how those caves look next to the lighthouse. So yeah, that's my favourite pick today. Now if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. Also comment down below, even if it's just hello. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Come join the Jellybean family. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world my friends and I'll see you in my next video. Video. Goodbye!